The Arkansas Department of Transportation has started the process now of getting public input about a proposal to widen Highway 112 through Fayetteville, Springdale, and Taneytown. Five News reporter Rachel Williams gives us a closer look at that planned project. So far, the plans are to expand Highway 112 from two lanes to four. RDOT says the project will most likely start at the end of 2023. It's really just because of the growth in the area. You know, a lot of population, uh, people are looking for an alternative route to taking 49 to using 265, and this is now that, that west uh, alternate route. The section potentially impacted would run from Howard Nickel Road in Fayetteville through Springdale to Highway 412 in Tawnytown. RDOT says the expansion should take just under two years. So now this will alleviate, eventually alleviate traffic interstate and give you that third option. A Fayetteville couple who lives right off of Howard Nickel Road says traffic has caused their commute to double in the amount of time it would normally take to get to work. Getting out of our neighborhood in the morning during rush hours is incredibly painful. Hundreds of yards of cars waiting at a stop sign just to get out of the neighborhood and get on to 112. The couple has concerns about construction traffic, but overall they say they're looking forward to less traffic on their daily commutes. I want to come down, see what they're planning, and make sure that there's a solution in place for us to be able to, to easily get in and out of our neighborhood, specifically during those rush hours. According to RDOT, the estimated cost right now is around $65 million, but that could increase over the next few years because of inflation. RDOT plans to add several roundabouts to help keep traffic moving smoothly. The roundabouts are proven to be a lot safer, uh, much more efficient you know, without the lights, you actually get through quicker. Uh, but I think roundabouts, sometimes people have to get a little accustomed to them. But there will be a total of seven roundabouts in that four mile stretch. This is one of three public meetings our dot is hosting. If you missed tonight and you still want to ask questions, you can still attend on December 13th and 15th. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.